I like to deform my characters in layers. This means that not all the deformation comes from a single armature, but instead from multiple armature objects and their corresponding modifiers. Here, for example, I have three of them. Um, so for each layer of deformation, we got a different armature, as I said like this one with uh, a few bones uh, this will control the bulges the secondary bulges and this is how it currently uh, works so yeah you can see that each uh, bulge control is moving a set of vertices like a block, not very smooth at all. They just move like one solid piece. And you might think this is because of the weight paint. And you might be wrong, because if we go and check uh, too many layers here, the weights are um, already soft so th that should not happen but uh, Blender's mm, auto normalization means that uh, it's, it's hard to explain but if there is no other bone affecting this area this soft area then uh, even if uh, the area has a value of lower than 1, like 0.5 or here uh, 0.25 it will act as if, as if it had full weight so the way to correct this is creating a base bone or um, it's like an inverse of every other uh, deforming bone in the armature. Let me double check if I have this bone as a deformation bone. Yes, it of course needs to be a deforming bone. All right. Um, so it is a bit tedious to create this deformation one. What I need is, or what I would need is to check on the exact values of the weight I added, uh, figure out the inverse and paint it on this bone. So for example, here we have 0.25, that means this bone uh, would need to add a weight of 0.75 here and if I have if I have 0.5 then 0.55 here and if I have one then zero here and so on and it gets m even more complex when there are uh, areas with share shared bones for example here so um, this is a bit of a pain to do and even if you do it once and next you want to make changes to to the weights then you will have to tweak it and it gets really nasty. So I have created a little script that uh, it is available in the Blender cloud. So cloud.blender.org and uh, it works like this. You create a list of all the bones that are the deforming ones. So in this case it's very simple from uh, spline sub 1 to 9 then uh, you add the name of the um, of the base which in this case I have named it uh, base bulges and you run it let's uh, select this one before we run it and save and run and you see how fast it did it that's the awesome thing about using py Python tools for your work workflow. So it did just that. 
it uh, creates an, an inverse sum of all other weights and if we try now the results you will see how nice or well I'm not sure if it will work perfectly because this is the first time that I test these weights but well yeah not very good but at least it's uh, smooth it doesn't move like a solid block of vertices anymore and that's the point I can now um, keep tweaking it and running the script to regenerate the uh, base weight or the inverse weight